In this tutorial we're going to learn how to create fillets, not pronounced fillet, but fillet. We're also going to learn how to trim and extend lines. These are essential things that we need to, um, to learn. So I'm going to go to my top view, so it's just looking at the top. Um, remember I can use my view cube to, to change things around to get it to the right view that I want. So then I'm going to go up to the sketch and I'm just going to draw a rectangle. Click on the grid to start. And then I'm going to draw, let's do a 5 by 3 rectangle. Press enter and then enter to escape the sketch. And now I have a rectangle. So now I'm going to go up back to the sketch tool and I'm going to select sketch fillet. And now for this I'm going to be able to um, select the sketch first and then I have to select the two lines that I would like to fill it. And then you see it already has a start value and I can either plug in my radius manually here or I can use this little uh, arrow to set the uh, fillet to the desired angle that I would like. And then I can press enter or exit the sketch mode to set it in place. I can also use uh, trimming and extending lines to kind of fine-tune uh, sketches. So in this case, let's say that I want to make a star. Uh, so I'm going to start with uh, a polygon. Uh, let's say that it's two inches in diameter, five sides. So I tab over down there, press enter to escape, and now I have a polygon with uh, a radius of, of two. So now uh, with the with the trimming tool, I'm going to simply uh, select a polyline because I'm going to make a star, click the sketch to edit it, and then I'm just going to connect the edges here to, in essence, create a star. Now, I'm using the uh, my pentagon to simply make the star, but I won't need it when I finish creating the star, so I'm going to need to trim off my ed edges. So I'm going to click enter or exit the sketch mode and now I'm going to go to trim and I select my sketch and then you'll notice that the lines they turn red before I delete them and I can just click on them and it will remove the edges that I no longer want and I can also use them for these outside edges of my pentagon to remove that and leave everything but the star that I want and I press enter to exit the sketch now you also have uh, extending lines which is kind of the opposite of trimming lines so I can do that by going to um, right beside trim extend lines so extending lines I'll be able to click on my sketch to edit it and then you'll notice that every time I sketch on a line or I click on a line I have the option of extending that line to the other one and so in, a, in essence I'm working backwards to what I've already done but um, that's a way to extend lines if I need to do that so there you have it trimming and extending lines along with fill